Hello, in today's podcast we'll talk about tachyons. What are tachyons? Simply put, tachyons are hypothesized particles that always move faster than the speed of light. Now, most physicists would agree that tachyons are the stuff of science fiction. Nothing can move faster than the universal speed limit, the speed of light. However, this has never stopped an inquisitive mind from thinking about things that are improbable. And who knows? We may even find some uses for it. Let's start by a simple thought experiment. Imagine a tachyon moving towards a stationary observer. Because a tachyon would always move faster than light, it would not be possible to see it approaching. The observer sees nothing until the tachyon starts to pass the observer. After the tachyon has passed nearby, the observer would be able to see it depart, but it would also be able to see it arrive in the opposite direction as light approaches him from the direction of motion. As a result, the observer would see two images of the tachyon appearing and departing in opposite directions. Let's extend the thought experiment to two observers in inertial frames of reference. Special relativity tells us that the observers may disagree on the timing of events and even their order. However, a fundamental principle of physics must be observed, causality. Cause must take place before effect. If tachyons are allowed to exist and transmit information, it would be possible to construct an experiment whereby an observer receives a reply to his signal before he had even sent the original one to another observer. This thought experiment is called tachyonic antitelephone and can lead to weird paradoxes, similar to the will kill your own grandfather paradox. Now let's examine some of the properties of tachyons. In a Lorentz invariant theory, tachyons would obey relativistic physics, specifically the total energy would be given by Einstein's formula. If the speed of a tachyon V is larger than C, the denominator is negative and gives an imaginary number. For energy to be a real number, it means that the tachyon must also have an imaginary mass. Even more curious is the property that as its energy decreases, the speed of the tachyon increases. Tachyons trying to slow down to the speed of light will find that their energy reached infinity. Tachyons cannot slow down below the speed of light, just like regular particles cannot cross the barrier. Even though tachyons probably don't exist, tachyonic fields, fields with imaginary mass, play an important role in physics. Perhaps the most prominent example is the Higgs field, where the field, not the particle, has imaginary mass. Tachyonic fields also arise in many versions of string theory, however, this will be discussed in another podcast. I'll leave you with this. If you ever happen to see a tachyon move away from you, remember to turn around and see it again.